to our destination, I guess, about 20 miles to our destination, and bombs and things were just falling. We had an aircraft set up around our camp tonight. Uh, the Japanese and them would come over in them suicide planes, and, and so and we'd have to get out of our bombs and, and get in our foxhole. And that, that plane would come over, and you see, Boy, you see all them bullets in there. This train is here to light up the hole. There's so many bullets in the air. It just be, look like day, daylight. And then you see that plane going down and playing and shot him down. They had to take open now about five. The first two or three of them, uh, Marines and things went in there, and they killed them all. Everybody in Okinawa, when we were there, it wasn't killed, they were living in caves. All the houses and things were, were burnt. They still had fields in there, potatoes and stuff. We'd hear baby crying, you know, in them caves, you know. You look miles and miles, it wasn't nothing but a uh, them crosses, you know, where they kill all them soldiers. So in Okinawa, they had a suicide mound, I guess about two or three hundred feet deep. A lot of them keep from being captured. They jump off that cliff, that suicide cliff, they call it. Or they kill themselves, keep from being, you know, the American killers. When I left, it wasn't house. No home, nothing, there's nothing standing. We tore them all. We were supposed to go for the invasion in Japan. While we was on the ship there, a bomb, you know, the tone of bomb in Japan. When they first dropped that atomic bomb, it, it wasn't as powerful, so they dropped they had to drop a nun. And I think that second, and then they, they, they were, well, they give up. I deem this reply a full acceptance of the Potsdam Declaration, which specifies the unconditional surrender of Japan. You really, though, after all that, oh, oh, I believe they paid something, because I never was really scared. Out of all that, it never, I never was, you know, frightened.